Hello everybody, I'm Gatoru and welcome to a tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to make a nearly 100% efficient automatic crop farm in Minecraft. So this is the farm. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. It's connected to a clock, so right now we have to do it manually because I don't know how far it has left. If I activate it, all the crops will flow with a little bit of lag down from the farmland into the center hole where you can set up a hopper system to collect them all. Now if you look down here, well shoot. Let me turn it off first. And now you can see all the crops are missing from this layer. None you can see on this layer. None on this layer. None on this layer. And none on this layer. All the crops are right there. Oh my goodness, do you see that? This thing is mad good. First thing you wanna do is make a 15 by 15 dirt square like this. It goes all the way from here and then eight, it dips down all the way across to 15 blocks repeated on every side now this part right here the part that is a step up from the base is four blocks from the corner and then you make a diamond shape with that it's pretty simple if you know how the pattern goes after that you're going to want to surround it on the same level as the top level see right here the bottom level is there the top level you want to surround it with blocks and then you're going to come out two from that layer right here all the way around the whole thing and then on the corners you're going to remove the block and make a little hole now you're not going to need that corner block but you're going to do this to the right of it you're going to put a block there the point of that you'll see later on is for the dispensers but keep it symmetrical or not it doesn't really matter it's just placing the water block here no matter where uh, which side you put it on i just prefer to keep it symmetrical by putting it on the right side this is very important too right here where you have this diamond shape where the water will be you're going to have to put three blocks right here so that the redstone can connect to the rest of the circuit. Okay, for this part, you're going to need six repeaters, four dispensers, and a lot of redstone dust. It's not really counted, but it connects all the way around almost. The dispensers go here and on the corners. One in the middle, one on the corner, one in the middle, and then it would start right here, at least for the way I built it. You can start any side. The dispensers go right here on this corner block. If you break it, you can see right here where we have our little corner. We built this extra block. That's so that the redstone dust can come up and connect to the dispenser. Once you've built that and put the water inside of the holes, you're going to need to surround this upper layer of dirt with a block of your choice. Now you can use glass. I prefer if you use glass because if you're on a vanilla server, then the outer crops are gonna need it for light. And if you don't use glass, you may need more light sources on the inside. But you will need four glowstone and blocks in glass of choice. Surround all of the edges with the glass, going from each dispenser all the way across, making sure none of the water can flow out. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. And on the fourth one, you put the glowstone. See, one, two, three, four. It's in the very center. On all of these, you can see one, two, three, four centered. That's how it'll look. And for the last layer, what you want to do is till your soil and plant your crops, of course, and then place a hopper and chest on the last layer. So as you can see, on the very last layer, the crops will fall down into a hopper, into a chest. You may need more hoppers depending on how big the farm is, because one hopper will not be able to hold all the crops. One more thing, you're going to need a transparent block with a sign underneath each layer of the water in the middle. And it has to be a transparent block so that the crops below this module can grow. If it's not a transparent block, they will not grow. So I decided to build it from scratch for you guys so you can see how I do it. So that's what you're watching right now. I do mess up on the dirt square by accident, but I end up fixing it in the end. So don't worry. I end up making it correctly and that's how you should make it.
really quickly guys for 1.14.4 to get this farm to work you're going to have to replace the blocks above the glowstone so if you go down here you can see that the glowstone has the blocks below it and above it this is a half slab that is waterlogged in 1.14 you can waterlog blocks so you have to put water here and waterlog it and replace the water in the very center this allows the whole thing to be watered but also allows the crops to flow down this hole because now potatoes float or crops float on top of the water they do not get pushed down with the old design so the only difference is there are signs going all the way down from the bottom to the top and there are slabs here above the glowstone blocks with water so you can no longer plant crops on these four but you can now use this design in your 1.14.4 and above worlds that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you guys did enjoy it leave any comments down below if you have any questions or if i just helped you out i'd like to know have an awesome and blessed day guys and i'll see you gators later goodbye